Good morning, collective. Uh, it's Sunday. I hope that I hope that everyone is doing good. Thank you so much for tuning in to Miss Most Motivational Tarot, where I'm here to inspire you. So the ancestors wanted me to do a reading. Um, let's go ahead and invite them in. For all of my new subscribers, thank you so much for your support. If this is your first time watching, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a seat, get comfortable. And if you've been with me as my ace one from day one, I appreciate you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's go ahead and have a seat and see what ancestors want to say. We welcome you, ancestors of me and the collective highest good and light. Thank you so much for the love, the clarity. Thank you for the downloads. Thank you for the messages that are coming through. Protect the spiritual door so that nothing comes through that doesn't belong. As above, so below. Let's go. Now, I need a pillow. Oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> I need something, some back support. Yeah, child. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't want to spill that. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So, um, just... A side note, I had a dream the other day of my ancestors. I didn't know they were my ancestors. Um, at my spiritual door, there were two huskies. Look up what huskies mean in a dream, H-U-S-K-E-Y or K-Y. Um, dogs, two husky dogs. Um, one was white and one was black and white. And I was very afraid of them because they were huge. Like, their whole snout was big, right? And I was just laying there like, <laughs> you know, my heart was beating. And um, they were just sniffing on me. They weren't trying to hurt me. And then they left with the person that trains them. And that person that trains them was a young boy. It had to have been like 18, 19 years old. And he was just watching me. And then he left. But my ancestors came through to me. I showed up at like this castle. They all were dressed in white. And they were preparing for some type of festival or celebration of unity. So um, I was just taking everything in. But in a dream, I remember some of them. And I couldn't, when I woke up from the dream, I couldn't remember if I actually met them in person before. Like I was, I was at that place before. So I was doing some type of uh, uh, astral traveling, okay? And um, while I was there, one of my great aunties, at least that's what I felt like she was, um, everyone had a lot of respect for her and she took me under her wing and I just kind of like, you know, observed her, sit with her. They were by the ocean, um, under the trees. Everybody was outside having a good time. It, it kind of felt like a cookout without the barbecue. <laughs> and, um, she had this big wooden bowl in front of her. And she had these rooms, like she read she read divination through a different way. And I do tarot, so I thought that was very, um, that was very uh, beautiful. I thought it was very um, awe, you know, like, wow, my gift is being passed down through my ancestors. And she was like talking and then she would take this cup and she would scoop them up, shake them and then throw it in the bowl. And then she would read what it says, but she would talk in parables. And um, then I, I, just start, I started describing a friend of hers that turned out to actually be her sister. 
and she knew that I met her sister. So maybe what I when I woke up from the dream, I was like, maybe I had another astral travel dream prior to meeting her. I met her sister. And it was the same type of environment in a way, but I do remember them. And I woke up from that dream like I was there before. I think one of the things that bothered me after the dream was that I wanted to go back. I wanted to go back. I wanted to be with them. I felt safe. It was so much joy and friendliness and you know, just to see the family together. Like I knew all those people. I mean, it had to have been at least two, two to 300 people that I could see, you know, it, it probably was way more than that. Cause there was children. There was children on top of children. There were young people, old people, middle-aged people, and everybody was connected. So I knew it was a blood family. I just felt like an outsider, like a visitor. You know what I mean? And um, it's like she was taking me under her wing to spend time with me, you know? I don't know. So that's a side night. So, so a lot of you could be feeling like, you know, alone on this journey here in the 3D realm. But your ancestors want you to know that you are not alone. Okay? I'm hearing that song by Michael Jackson, You Are Not Alone. Yeah, you're not alone. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and get with it. So it was nice to be able to share my dream with y'all. Um, every time I go to sleep at night, I hope I dream again. Like, I hope I could revisit them. And I wasn't sure what the visit was for, but I know it has something to do with my gift. So a lot of you may be um, opening up. Your third eye chakra may be opening up to you know recognizing your gifts or your gifts could be elevating okay so at the bottom of the deck we have death i can't make this up okay you see this and you see the skeleton which is the ancestors and this is a child okay so this child is being guided and protected by their ancestors okay this is transformation with death okay tell me more spirit Clarify that, please, and thank you. Spirit team, what this for the collective? Okay, so I got a few cards here. I love it. So we have the Eight of Wands, okay? So this is messages. This is you getting downloads, messages, um, something fast moving, fast action coming in towards you. We have the Four of Knives. So remember how I said this ancestor was sitting here with like a bowl to read some type of uh, divination? So the Four of Knives is being able to take a break. So there's going to be some kind of messages coming in that you may be thinking or pondering over. And then we have the Four of Baskets. Wow. So this is about feeling alone. This is about feeling... Um, just feeling, you know, singled out is what I'm hearing. This person is looking in a mirror, a reflection. So this could be about reflecting, thinking, lots of thinking. You could be seeing. It's so crazy because you have four of knives and the four of baskets. And then you have the eight of wands. So four and four is the number eight. Okay. So um, somebody could be seeing the number eight, four, four. Okay, I'm seeing 909999 on the clock right now. Um, whatever these messages is, somebody could be feeling like, you know, pondering over it, thinking about it, reading about it, um, taking a break to reflect with these messages that are coming in. Hmm. What other messages do you have, Spirit? What is this reflection from these messages? Clarify, please, and thank you. Clarify the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is feeling alone, rejected. Um, the Four of Cups could be feeling, you know, like missed opportunities. 
but it's to me with this person looking at their reflection it's like a reflection and then with the four of swords this is about taking a break to think about something read about something gather some type of information so maybe you could be learning something about yourself with these messages that are coming in very quickly. And these are positive messages. This is something that's gonna make you feel light on your feet with the balloons, like your ancestors are holding you up. At the crosswalk, thank you. You see the crosswalk, right? So yeah, at the crosswalk. Meet me at the crossroads. <laughs> okay, so we have the lovers. Ooh. Okay, so somebody definitely is going to be thinking or reflecting on some type of communication from a lover. Hmm. You might be getting a message from a lover. Tell me about this lover's card, please, and thank you. Oh, okay. So somebody's kicking. Okay, so we have the two of coins and the mother of wands, which is the queen of wands. Hmm. Sunflowers are considered your ancestors. So this is an ancestor. With the two of coins, this person is kicking around two different cowrie shells. Okay? So the two of coins with the queen of wands. Someone is being advised to make a decision, take action and make a decision. This lover. Yeah, because right after the lover's card, you have this person kicking shells, like they're kicking rocks. Like they're, they're feeling like this is a missed opportunity with you. And they're being advised by their mother. Maybe their mother passed on or they're dreaming about a grandmother. Mm. So you're minding your business <laughs> and you're learning about yourself. You're reflecting, you're on the right path. You're doing what you're supposed to do when it comes to reflecting about your life. And while all this is happening, there's some behind the scenes things going on where your ancestors are guiding you um, down a path towards a lover. Mm. Okay. Yeah, ace of coins at the bottom of the deck. And this person is bringing in a big... Um, foundation a big a new beginning something very solid this could be somebody new hmm tell me about these eight of wands what are these messages please and thank you for the collective clarify the eight of wands please and thank you Yeah, because this person, the Eight of Wands is fast movement energy, and this person is sitting down taking a break. So these messages come in while you're just minding your business, and you're reflecting on them. You're reading this note. You could be reading this note, this message that you're getting, and it's making you reflect. Hmm. 
clarify the eight of wands at the crosswalk a crosswalk is like um making a decision like whatever these messages are is guiding you down this path it's like you're holding on to these balloons they keep pointing this card out to me like you're being guided like these messages are, are guiding you or your ancestors are holding you and guiding you and that's the thing in my dream i think i said it to y'all in the beginning that everybody was dressed in white it was like some type of festival some type of meet like a celebration of family okay and you got these balloons like an invitation so you could be getting an invitation that's going to make you reflect Hmm, you could be getting an invitation to go somewhere and your ancestors are advising you to go. I felt a lot of um my hair stood up on my head on my arms. Okay. So tell me about this invitation, spirit. What is this? Ooh, that's too much. Tell me about this invitation, please, and thank you for the collective. Tell me about this invitation, please, and thank you. So you're going to be getting an invitation that's going to, you know, you're going to ponder on it. You're going to think about it. And your ancestors are advising you to go. Clarify this invitation, please, and thank you. Oh, that's too much. They keep giving me a lot of messages. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Let me shuffle. I should have got my other ancestor, but uh, that. They said, no, this is fine. <laughs> Okay, this is a fine. This is fine. All right, so we have um, the hangman here. Okay, so yeah, um, like I said, you're gonna. It's gonna catch you off guard. It's gonna shock you. But they want you to look at this from a different perspective. What is this invitation? You're gonna be getting dressed up to go because she's dressed up. You're gonna be dressed up to go. It's, it might be an all white affair. Oh, you're gonna be you're gonna get an invitation to go to an all white affair. Wow. Okay. Tell me like a gala. Oh, okay. So we have the hermit and we have the father of knives. Mm. We have the hermit and we have the father of knives. Now you see, um, let me show you these two different cards. Look at this. What y'all see the same? Y'all see this circle here, and then y'all see the circle around the hermit, right? It's the same type of um, symbols, white symbols. This is moon energy. Wow. So the hermit and the lovers, um, it's like the same kind of emotion. Hmm. So we have the father of knives and we have the hermit. The father of knives is the king of swords and the hermit card. Um. Yeah, this person is being guided. Uh, the hermit, this is spiritual guidance. So this person is being guided to come towards you. It's like this person is preparing a message for you or they're being prepared to come towards you. This person is in solitude, getting some type of clarity about preparing because when somebody has an ax and they're chopping wood, that's like preparing for some type of um, preparing to do something. Um, Yeah, preparing to offer you something with the Ace of Coins. Can y'all see that? I know, it be looking kind of like blurry. So things are still in preparation stage, okay? So somebody's preparing or getting some clarity to come towards you. 
Who is this person? Why are they coming in? What is this invitation? So the four of knives, clarify the four of knives. I told you, you have the three of wands. Somebody is in preparation to receive something. Hmm. This is something that's going to make you very excited with all these bubbles, okay? So the Four of Knives is taking a break, relaxing, and waiting for something to happen, to move forward, making plans to move forward. Hmm. Give me more messages, please. And somebody's going to be reflecting. It's like you're gonna look in this mirror and reflect about whether or not you're gonna go. Why are you reflecting? I wanna see what four of baskets mean with the book. Give me a second. Okay, so it says with the four of baskets, this is contemplating, right? A woman pauses to look in the mirror. She is feeling stuck. She looks away from the baskets, uninterested. She doesn't see the new growth in the plants on the wall, a sign of potential opportunity. She only has to look around to see it. The four of baskets represents the need to ground yourself, reflect, and make a new choice. It's time to rekindle your imagination and curiosity. So the mirror is the mirror is an ask that you look not only externally, but internally. What are you stressing or struggles resonating from you? Dwelling in the past or obsessing about the future steals you in the present. Previous hardships and heartbreak or distractions. Okay, so this is like someone who's refusing to fall in love again. Taking another chance or being hurt. News about a situation that has already developed. A time of stability when you can begin to establish a relationship with yourself. It's saying say yes to others who are offering you to lend you a hand. Okay? And so whoever this person is, they're coming in to offer you a big opportunity. But are you afraid to accept because you don't want to get hurt? Okay, so this person is preparing to come towards you with the Three of Wands. They're being guided and directed to come towards you. Clarify the Four of Baskets, please and thank you. <clears throat> Y'all, I can't make it up. Ace of Coins. This person is coming to give you a big offer. That's the third time I've seen the Ace of Coins. Okay, so the Ace of Coins, look how big that shell is. Okay, this is something solid, this is something innocent, and this is something new. This is someone new offering you this. So when you get this invitation, your ancestors are saying, we get that you're thinking about it, and it's good to think about it because you don't want to just jump into something. But when your spirit guides are guiding you, advising you, and carrying you down this path, it's, it's imperative that you go. <laughs> so you're going to be, I think you need to go pick out your, go buy or go pick out this white attire that you're going to be wearing at this all white affair. Okay. Yeah. You're going to an all white affair. Clarify spirit, the lovers. Okay. So this is a gift from spirit. This is for a gift from your ancestors given to you because in the, in the next column is the lovers card. Okay. Look at this. This is what's coming in. Dang, I pulled the ancestors. This every this has been coming up. Okay, this is coming up constantly. All right. And somebody's trying to decide to make a decision whether or not they should accept this. Okay. And your ancestor or grandmother or someone is like hiding behind the sunflower. And it's like they're advising you to, you know, take a chance, make a decision. Okay. Clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers, please, and thank you. 
ancestors. Why is the lover's card here? This is a soulmate. So you're going to get an invitation to go to an all-white affair. Wow. <laughs> Justice. Look at this. And if y'all really could see this card, I wish this, uh, maybe y'all could see it and it's just me. But you see all these people holding this, um, this side of the, the, the scale up, right? A bowl. They got that bowl again. So it's like they're all holding this up to balance things out for you. Like you're getting justice and love. You're getting justice in a soulmate. Wow. Look. I can't make it up. This is so beautiful. And the two of coins is saying balance again. So if there's been some financial struggles... Maybe that's why this person is reflecting in a mirror like, dang, you know, like I have to get all dressed up for this event and I don't, you know, really have it like that. Or what if I invest into this and it's a fail? Like you're talking yourself out of something that is for you and they don't want you to do that. Okay. They want you to accept this offer. I feel like you're going to get the money to be able to go to this event with the Ace of Coins. Wow. This is nice. Okay, so you got justice here with the lovers. So this is a balance. This is Venus. Okay, so there is definitely something um, balancing out for you in the love department uh, with partnerships. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. This person is being guided to come towards you. This could be a Libra because I'm getting strong Libra energy. And I also have um, Mother of Wands. So somebody's grandmother or someone. Um, this is also about your confidence. Thank you, Spirit. With the Two of Coins, it's like balancing out your confidence. Okay, you could be hiding. Hiding your beauty. Spirit is saying you're hiding your beauty. Or you're, you're, you're hiding your self-confidence. Wow. Clarify the two of coins. What is this balance with the two of coins? Clarify the two of coins. For some of you, I'm also picking up someone else. Might be you're trying to decide over someone else. Could be from your past. Tell me more, Spirit, with the Two of Coins. What is this Two of Coins, please? Clarify the Two of Coins. Thank you, sir. What is the Two of Coins? The Two of Coins is about adapting to the change, adapting to the balance, adapting to the truth. Something is being um, justified, okay? So we have the Fool and we have the Six of Coins. Ciao. Look at you getting all dressed up. Y'all can't tell me, okay? <laughs> you gonna have the money to go on this. I'm telling you, look at her. She got somebody doing her hair, okay? Oh, I can't make it up. I have never seen... Okay, and I feel like spirit is saying, make sure you adorn yourself with some cowrie shells for this event. Okay, look at this fool. Ciao. And then you have the moon. You are a part of a moon uh, tribe. A moon tribe is what I'm hearing. Um. With the Fool here and the Six of Coins, this is a new beginning and some type of abundance, okay? Um, you're going to be able to sit back and um, someone could be coming into your life that's going to help you get ready for this event, okay? Wow, okay? So if you've been struggling financially with the Two of Coins, Spirit is saying you got, you got some money coming in. Okay, with this fool card. Okay, this is new money. 
all right? And this person is going to be helping you to get ready for this event. And when you show up, this could be, um, I'm also picking up a masquerade ball where you wear a mask to hide your identity, okay? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, yes, Sarah, thank you. All right. Okay, so we have the seven of coins. You go from the six of coins to the seven of coins. And look at her with the cowrie shells around her waist beads, okay? So for you, Divine Feminines, I feel like you're definitely going to be feeling confident. Um, you're going to be definitely looking good smelling good okay the seven of coins with the mother of wands this is like you know you're going to be preserved for some type of opportunity the seven of coins is growth okay you're going to be standing in your growth and that's what they said with the four of baskets, that all you have to do is looking around and you're going to see how much you've grown. You're going to see the growth in your finances. Okay, so the mother of wands and the seven of coins is like... Why is the seven of coins here? Please and thank you. Why is the seven of coins here? Clarify the seven of coins. You got the magician. Look at this. Look at this, okay? And you got this moon cycle, okay? So, something about waiting on your manifestations. This person is... is it's like this person was being prepared for you. Wow. This is someone who, you, it's like you manifested this person to come into your life. Oh my God. Look at the 10 of coins. Oh my God. Didn't I say an all white affair? Yo, whoever this person is that's prepared for you. They're very wealthy, okay, on every level. Like, you're being prepared to connect with this family. This is long-term commitment. This is wealthy money. This, yo. This is so beautiful. I want to cry. This is what's being offered to you. Ace of coins, ten of coins, okay? Spirit said, hold it this way. Okay, ace of coins, ten of coins, okay? This is what's being offered to you. Wow. It's like you're a blessing to this family, to this person. Let me read the magician real quick. Hold on. This is major. And with the queen of wands being here with the magician, this is your manifestation. It's like this person is going to, they're going to finally get to see you in person. Okay, hold on. The magician. All right, so the magician... <clears throat> This is the magician card, okay? The magician is action, power, and yes, okay? So yes, a man stands on a rock at the edge of the ocean and waves crash around him. His body is adorned with tattoos of the suits, okay? So he has the tattoo of cups, swords. Um, so this person might have tattoos of cups or hearts, swords, uh, sticks, or tri tribal wands, and um, coins, money, okay? So it says, um, 
the tools at his disposal. The suits honor the four directions and four elements. His so he's gonna have air worth. I'm sorry, air worth, <laughs> air, earth, uh, fire, and water on his body. The suits honor the four directions and four elements. His presence in nature symbolizes his connection with inner conscious and outer world. The magician embodies the energy of manifestation, willpower, and determination. He is conduit of both the material and spiritual realms. I just did a, a reading yesterday where I said that there's this new person coming into your life that is going to be able to travel through dimensions. Okay? So... He, this is this is a confirmation. So he is conduit of both material and spiritual realms. He is the reminder to turn dreams into reality. Knowing you have anything you need to put your plan into action. All creation is possible with discipline. The most potent form of self-love. Okay, so this person is definitely someone who's balanced. Okay, but they not only talk about it, they be about it. Okay, and so I feel like this person is going to... Um, help you live out your dreams. They're going to help you manifest your dreams into reality. They're going to help you love yourself so you can ground yourself enough to pursue your dreams, okay? Um this is all about your throat chakra, okay? Speaking things into existence. That's one of your gifts. Uh, manifestations, connections, actions, inspiration, personal power. Okay, the magician card is the ability to use your psychic abilities, commitment to be able to be brave, um, and your spiritual development. Spirit is wanting you to explore new perspectives and break free from echo chambers. I honor the universe knowing that I have everything I need to succeed within me. So this person is going to help you tap into your spiritual power. That's why we saw the full card here with justice, your truth, okay? So, yeah, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful, y'all. Y'all make sure you send me a picture of you dressed up in your all-white attire because you have an invitation to attend a all-white gala and you are the guest of honor. Mm-hmm. Yep, I can't make this up. When you see this card and you see this card, this is you being invited to somebody's type of uh, affair, all white affair, okay? And Spirit is saying that's the truth with the daughter of Nas. So you're going to definitely get a message, all right? A message or an invitation, okay? Um, thank you, Spirit. Huh. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Let me go ahead and pull a wisdom card and see what Spirit says. What is the overall outcome? What wisdom? What advice do you have for the collective? I hope y'all was able to hear me because I'm talking low because my kids are still asleep. And I was advised to do this message early in the morning. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more. What is the message? Overall message? What is the advice that you have for the collective? Please and thank you. And it's so funny. I chose this um, wisdom deck because they have uh, shells on it as well. I'll show you in a second. So they look like this. I forgot the name of this, but I've seen it before. If you know, put it in the comment. Um, tell me more. What is the wisdom? advice that you have for the collective that's watching for this all white affair it's a family affair by mary j blige is what i'm hearing i'm hearing it <laughs> tell me more spirit What messages do you have for the collective for this all-white affair? Thank you. That took forever. Oh. Something is being mended together. Okay? So you have mending. Okay? 
Something is being put together. Thank you, Spirit. I feel like Spirit is helping you find yourself, discover who you are, and you're being, um, you're being put into this family. Like you're you're finding your soul tribe. Tell me more. Thank you. Yeah, this is a never-ending love story. So there's a, there's unfinished business between you and this person. And you have the number um, 37, which breaks down to the number 10. So this is like a, a love story that is unfinished. Something is being put together. One more, please. The number 52, the number 37. Clarify, Spirit. It's like you and this person were childhood sweethearts in another lifetime. Tell me more, Spirit. What other messages do you have for the collective? Oh, okay. Yeah, time to go. I can't make it up. Time for you to go on this journey. Okay? And then we have blessed. Oh, my God. Okay? Blessed. Yes. The number 22, the number 45, 37, and 52. Okay? So, y'all take it how it resonates. I hope y'all enjoyed this message. This was beautiful. I'm telling you, you know... Um, if you resonate with this message, let me know. If you get an invitation to go to an all-white affair, then you know that's your confirmation. Until next time, deuces. Bye.